Imagine crossing the Pacific in just two hours. What was once a fantasy of science fiction may soon become a reality. China's aerospace company, Space Transportation, also known as Lingkong Tianqing Technology, has achieved a major breakthrough with the test of its Yongxing supersonic jet prototype. This sleek high-speed marvel promises to carry passengers at speeds of up to Mach 4 or roughly 3,069 miles per hour, nearly twice as fast as the retired Concorde. For decades, the Concorde was the pinnacle of supersonic travel, whisking passengers across the Atlantic in under three and a half hours at Mach 2. But while the Concorde pushed boundaries, its loud sonic booms, high operating costs and environmental concerns grounded it for good in 2003. Fast forward to today and China's Yongxing prototype has taken things to the next level aiming to redefine what's possible in passenger travel by flying at twice the speed of Concorde and soaring through the sky at Mach 4.0. But how does this futuristic jet work? To reach speeds of Mach 4, Space Transportation designed the Yongxing prototype with advanced aerodynamics and cutting-edge materials. The jet's all-composite structure is both lightweight and robust, able to endure the extreme drag and pressures of hypersonic speeds. Every inch of this prototype was designed to withstand the intense heat generated at these speeds. During recent tests, the Yongxing prototype was evaluated for thermal protection, aerodynamic stability, and structural integrity, and it passed each challenge. This isn't just a jet that's fast, it's a jet designed to endure some of the harshest conditions the sky can offer. In fact, the Yongxing flies at altitudes up to 65,600 feet, where the lower air density helps it achieve such incredible speeds with reduced drag. The Yongxing also brings something new to the table, vertical takeoff and landing capability. This feature could change airport infrastructure as we know it, allowing this jet to take off and land on shorter runways or even in urban vertiports. Imagine arriving at a city center instead of a distant airport. Now that's revolutionary. So, what does Mach 4 mean for passengers? With a top speed of nearly 3,070 miles per hour, the Yunqing could travel from Beijing to New York in just two hours. This speed could transform the way we work, do business, and experience the world, making same-day intercontinental travel a reality. Yet, traveling at Mach 4 brings unique challenges for passenger comfort and safety. At such high speeds, seating and cabin structures must be specially designed to absorb acceleration forces. And the cabin temperature requires careful control to manage the freezing external temperatures and intense friction-generated heat on the aircraft surface. Every detail of this design has to balance speed with safety. Space Transportation, founded in 2018, has quickly made a name for itself in hypersonic and space transportation technology. With substantial support from both private investors and government funding, they have already completed missions like the Yao-10 flight of their Tianqing Y rocket in 2022. Their experience with hypersonic systems is precisely what made the Yongxing prototype possible, placing China among the frontrunners in the race for the next generation of commercial supersonic flight. This recent test flight gave engineers valuable insights into the Yongxing's performance with successful checks on aerodynamics, flight controls, and structural integrity, space transportation is preparing for even more advanced tests in the coming months. A full-sized version of the Yongxing is scheduled for its first flight in 2027, a critical step in their goal to bring Mark IV passenger jets into commercial service. Yet, this journey is not without obstacles. Supersonic and hypersonic jets like Yongxing need to address the issue of sonic booms, a loud shockwave created when breaking the sound barrier. Nations like the United States have strict regulations on sonic booms due to noise pollution, so space transportation must find innovative ways to minimize this sound if they aim to operate overpopulated areas. There's also the question of sustainability. Hypersonic jets consume significantly more fuel than conventional planes, which raises concerns about emissions, especially at higher altitudes. Environmental regulations could play a major role in determining where and how frequently these jets will be allowed to operate. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and stay tuned 
for more updates on the future of supersonic travel and groundbreaking technologies.